Hey, what's up guys? Um, I am going to go ahead and do a little unboxing of this on 2-in-1 convertible laptop uh, that I got from Walmart today. Um, I haven't seen any reviews on it, so I figured uh, might as well uh, do some people a favor and then do a little um, unboxing and then probably a review after I get going on it. Uh, it's pretty cool. I was just searching for 2-in-1 uh, uh, convertible laptops. Um, at a certain price point, um, lower than 400 was my goal. I did see a Lenovo, um, I think they called it like a flip book or something. Um, it was like a 14 inch. Um, looked pretty nice. I read a lot of reviews on that. Uh, and they were pretty decent. Uh, that was uh, priced at like $399 on Walmart. Um, but then I happened to see this because I selected the pick up now option because I'm pretty impatient. So I just wanted to go and get it immediately. Uh, this was priced at $385. Uh, with taxes, it was like four eleven. Um, and then obviously, right now we're dealing with this coronavirus epidemic, so it was nice because I was able to go and just pick it up and leave. Um, didn't have to deal with any lines or anything like that. So let's check it out. Um, so let's see here. So these are the specs. Um, like I said two in one convertible laptop, thirteen point three inch uh, screen, which is actually. Uh, Pretty close to my MacBook Air that I had gotten rid of um, because I was looking to get a Windows-based computer for some online work from homework. Um, touch screen, obviously, because it does the flip. Um, Intel Core i3 processor, apparently eight hours plus of battery life. We'll see how true that is. Um, 128 gigs of storage, 4 gig of RAM, um, supports Windows Ink, which I'm assuming that has something to do with the pen. Um, obviously it goes into a little bit further on, on some of the specs. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail. From my understanding, it does run on Windows 10 um, Sport Mode, which I have never used before. Um, but I've heard you can um, take it off of that mode. So we'll see if I, if I want to take it off. I usually use Google Chrome, um, and I've been told that you have to use uh, Microsoft Edge with that uh with the windows 10 sport mode um so we'll see i'm gonna play around with it a little bit and see see if i want to take it off of there because apparently it does take up some more space and i'm assuming that they created it with the intention of uh you know uh running in the sport mode not the regular okay finally was able to get that stinking thing open that was a process So pretty simple box, nothing crazy. Obviously everybody's trying to minimize their boxing these days. Uh, looks like it comes with just your power cord. Um, yeah, so I'm assuming those two have to connect. It's not separate like the uh, like the MacBook Air or you can extend it, but that's okay. Um, looks relatively small, which is pretty cool. That was my intention. I didn't want a big hunky laptop. Okay, so it looks like a pretty simple um, user manual here. Simple step by step. I like that. Nothing too crazy. Um, here we have the computer. So we'll do this with one hand. Did some research on the brand. I uh, wasn't able to get too much information just because it's pretty new. They had a lap uh, a laptop um, that did have some reviews. This one only had like seven reviews. It had like a 3.7 average, I think. Um, but the two that were bringing it down that were just one star um, looked like they just had crappy issues as far as delivering. It sounded like you know screen cracked or something like that. Nothing as far as opening. Wow, that's a beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful screen they have. Uh, you can see the little webcam dot they got going on there. Um, nice little sheet cloth, actually, that it comes with uh, instead of the crappy, um, you know, uh, typical plastic or whatever material that is. This is actually used to, to wipe the screen. It's a pretty, pretty nice touch. Um, 
Keyboard is super nice. Uh, reminds me of the MacBook Air, um, to be honest with you, that I had. Um, one thing I already am noticing that I love is it has that delete button. Um, because the only backspace button on the MacBook Air was bothering the snot out of me. Um, so I'm glad to see it has that. Um, feels good. I mean, nothing, nothing cheap about it. It seems, you know, right up there with the MacBook Air. Um, I can see the little... Um, speakers go on there. I like this little gold touch. So let's go ahead and take a look at these plugs. Um, over here, it looks like you just have your standard plug for the wall, and then I believe that's some sort of high speed uh, USB port. That's pretty cool. Um, and then over on this side, looks like you got standard USB, uh, headphone jack, power button, and then uh, I think that's an SD card um, slot, which is also pretty cool. Um, let's see here. To check out the flip mode so last thing just want to show you um i guess the bottom nothing real fancy air pretty simple um it's just this thing flipping let me give me one moment let me flip it over here so yeah pretty easy just flipped it right over um you know it looks beautiful to be honest with you love those gold little gold um gold pieces that keep the two sides together um and i'll do another review on uh, how this thing operates so last thing I want to discuss is just the weight. Um, I know previously I had my MacBook Air, which is like a feather. Um, this thing is pretty light. Um, I mean, it's heavy in comparison to that, but lighter than any you know, little laptop you're going to get. Um, and it's sturdy. It's got the same metal uh, frame that the, that the MacBook Air seems to have. Um, I do a lot of writing on this and take it a lot of places. Uh, if you like reading, check out my book, Love Hate Hotels. Uh, it's on the working in the hotel industry and the love-hate relationship.